maintain the neighbors watching but no one moves they live by rules they give no options they don't prevail they tell no tales a dead man New Jersey is fired up for Fight Zone Wrestling's Monday Night Raw here tonight. And we're getting things started off with Drew McIntyre versus Rey Mysterio. Later on tonight, we will see Dolph Ziggler go one on one against Gold Dust in our main event. Down wrong. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. I really hope that Drew McIntyre. Can become a big star here in MCW. We haven't seen much of Drew McIntyre, but he did try to get the band together. Him and Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal. It didn't work out. But Drew McIntyre has a whole new attitude here. This could be what he needs to be a world champion here in Fight Zone Wrestling. He's already been the NXT champion. He's a former Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. But can he capture the Fight Zone Wrestling World Championship? Right now, that title is currently held by Bobby Lashley. He's had some le he's had some legendary battles against Bobby Lashley and on Impact Wrestling. If you get Impact Wrestling Plus, you can witness those legendary battles that happen. But right now, we're gonna see something entirely new: Drew McIntyre versus Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio currently the Fight Zone Wrestling X Division champion. Rey Mysterio will be defending that X Division Championship at Backlash, but who will his opponent be? Tonight, thankfully, the title is on the line and Rey Mysterio doesn't have to defend it. Rey Mysterio has been an incredible X Division Champion so far. He defeated Kalisto to win that championship. Wait, wait a minute. No, Drew McIntyre comes right in after Rey Mysterio. He's not waiting any longer. He wants this match underway. Here we go. And look at this. As soon as the match begins, as soon as the bell rings, boom! Drew McIntyre slingshots Rey Mysterio to the middle of the ring. Oh my god. Drew McIntyre is beating the hell out of Mysterio, but Mysterio able to... Oh, never mind. I thought Drew McIntyre was able to counter it. He wasn't, though. Drew McIntyre's on fire right now. Oh, my God. I remember Rey Mysterio was caught off guard here. He started attacking Rey Mysterio before the bell even rung, before Rey Mysterio was even done making his entrance here. But I guess this is what Drew McIntyre has to do to really make a name for himself here. To really show people what he's made of. To show people he's not a joke anymore. The days of 3MB is over. And I've spoken with Drew McIntyre. He's angry that Jinder Mahal is a former WWE World Champion before him. He's happy that Drew, that Drew, excuse me. He's happy that Jinder Mahal won the title. He's not happy that he did it before Drew McIntyre feels that he's looked over. He's not taken seriously. There's been times where he's had opportunities, though, and he came up short, let's be honest. 
Drew McIntyre was called the chosen one, literally by Vince McMahon. And there's a reason why. Drew McIntyre. Oh my God, a headbutt on Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio has not been able to do anything. He's not been able to do much. And now, it may come to an end here with the Claymore by Drew McIntyre. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. It's all over. The chosen one picks up a victory. Here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Look at that, the head butt to the side of the head of Rey Mysterio and then the Claymore. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. Like I said earlier, hopefully this is a new beginning for Drew McIntyre. He's going to have to make the best of his opportunity that he's given them. Now wait a minute. What the hell? Come on. The match is over with. And Drew McIntyre is attacking the referee. There's no reason for this. The match is over. You got the victory. Congratulations. Now go home. Oh no. Claymore again on Rey Mysterio. And now we got something going down in backstage. What? What the hell is this now? We got a referee being a. It's not a. Wait a minute. That's that's the Jill Manager Matt Hardy. Oh my God. Who is this? Someone is assaulting Matt Hardy in the parking Whoa. lot. Whoa. Oh my god. Slammed head first into that, that car truck. I don't understand why this is happening. Who's doing this? Oh god. Man Hardy went face first into those chairs, into a row of chairs right now. Oh! Oh no, now he's got one of those steel chairs! Assaulting Man Hardy with it! The referee can do nothing about it, come on now, oh, come on! The referee's been buried under those heavy propane tanks or, or wherever they are. And now Kendo Stick. Is that his car? Is that his limo? He just pulled something out of it. And oh, now he's still smacking the referee around as well. Anybody else that tries to get close and tries to stop this? Just seems to get assaulted for it. God. What's he doing? Now he's got that heavy equipment box. Oh no. No! Wait! Oh my god! He pushed it right to the head of Matt Hardy! Who is this? And why did he just take out Matt Hardy? The Raw General Manager needs help right now. We, we got to get paramedics or something back there. And we got we to gotta find this guy, whoever he is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, still to come here on Monday Night Raw, Lacey Evans will take on Maria Kanellis. And we will also see Mojo Riley. Get an Intercontinental Championship match against Randy Orton. Will we have a new Intercontinental Champion? That remains to be seen. We will all see the, see the tag team titles on the line. The Iconics will take on Asuka and Kyrie Sane. In our main event, Dolph Ziggler takes on the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Gold Dust.
So much happening here on Monday Night Raw, but right now the United States Championship title tournament continues. Hopefully we get some help from Matt Hardy though, and hopefully he's okay. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we were supposed to see Mickey James versus Mandy Rose as well. Unfortunately, Mandy Rose has been taken out with an injury. She will not be able to compete, so Mickey James moves up in the tournament automatically to the finals. The winner of this match will move up and take on Mickey James at Backlash for the United States Championship. That music was fantasy by Maria Canellis herself. Right now though, let's see if she can make this fantasy that she's had a reality. She was the one that came up with the idea of the women having another championship title. And that's when the United States Championship came to mind for the women of Fight Zone Wrestling. Let's see if Maria Canellis can get an opportunity at that championship right now. Or if Lacey Evans can get a shot at the United States Championship instead. One well, of these ladies will be taking on Mickey James at Backlash. And Maria hangs Lacey Evans up on that top rope. Oh, and now she starts choking her out with that boot. Great use of the legs, beating her head up against the ring apron, uh, the ring mat right now. Waits till Lacey Evans gets to her feet. She may have waited too long though. Lacey Evans pulls her from the middle rope. Maria standing up there way too long. Backbreaker. Just starts wailing air with those closed fists. Ooh, but Maria with a kick. And Lacey Evans man fell around the back of her head and got hurt. Maria nice enough to wait till she gets up to her feet to start fighting again. I gotta rush in or anything just yet. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, just taunting Lacey Evans. May have not been a good idea. Nice elbow there by Lacey Evans. Going straight for the cover. One, two, and the kick out from Maria Canellis. Lacey Evans not able to put her away. Ooh, nice right hand. And look at this, she went for that a handstand, a handstand. Lacey Evans with a salute. The fans don't care about that though. Oh, face crusher by Maria. And now Lacey trying to get up to her feet, but looking a little bit groggy here. She may be on her last legs right here. Maria can hit her with a big move. It would be all over, I would think. Oh, no. Don't know she, what she went for there, but Lacey Evans countered it. A 
Locking horns there, throwing her off. Arm drag by Maria. Arm drag with the close. Oh, wait a minute! Maria with a clothesline on the referee by mistake. Hey, wait a minute! Wait the wait a minute! What the hell? Lacey Evans had something in that left hand. Wait just a second, Rob. Two and a three, come on. Lacey Evans moves up. But she used something. I'm telling you, she had something in her left hand. She's right handed. She uses the right hand usually. She used the left hand to take out Maria. And that's very that's very suspicious. Look at this. What was that? That was. That was a weapon or something in that left hand. I'm telling you, she put something back in her trunks that she used as a weapon to beat Maria here tonight. Wow. Jeff Hardy, as you know, Matt Hardy was assaulted in the parking lot. We just wanted. To well, hey, look out! Wait a minute! No, wait a What is this? <laughs> Who is this? Wait, somebody's attacking Jeff Hardy now. Who was that? What is going on here? Can, can we keep a camera on that? He's leaving the parking lot. He's leaving the building. Jeff and Matt both been assaulted here tonight. Oh, and now here we go with Roman Reigns. He's asked for some personal time to explain his actions. After what we saw last week at the end of Raw when he attacked Seth Rollins, his shield brethren. It was the final night where we would see Dean Ambrose for the last time. And for whatever reason, Roman Reigns attacked Seth Rollins at the end of the show after their tag team match. And I don't know why, but right now, it, we're hopefully going to get some kind of explanation from Roman Reigns himself. He's hopefully going to explain why he did what he did, why he turned his back on Seth, and why he stabbed each and every one of these people in the back. Why? Roman Reigns has been one of the most respected people in the history of our sport. Let's take it back. Let's take back take you back to last week and show you what happened. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins taking on Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush. Roman Reigns with a Superman punch. One, two, three. Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins win. Here are your winners, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. And this was immediately after the, the match shield. when they win. Boom! Roman Reigns take, he takes out Seth Rollins. But why? For what? What the hell has gone into Roman Reigns? Let's figure it out right now, hopefully.
not gonna lie. There are people that have been booing Roman Reigns, but not all of them. You turned your back on the ones that still cared about you, Roman. Ladies and gentlemen, at Backlash, it's official for the United States Championship. Lacey Evans will go toe to toe with Mickey James. Plus, we'll also see the Fight Zone Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line. Close friends of Kurt Angles, Chad Gable, and Sean Benjamin will be fighting in his and Jason Jordan's honor when they take on the Kingdom. And also for the World Heavyweight Championship, Gold Dust have an opportunity of a lifetime. He's taking on Bobby Lashley at Backlash for the grandest prize of them all. And also, Falls Count Anywhere, Seth Rollins returns, he takes on Roman Reigns at Backlash, all hell's gonna break loose between these two. But, here tonight, on Monday Night Raw, Mojo Rawley versus Randy Orton for the Intercontinental Championship. This is Mojo's chance, he has to make the best of it here tonight. Will we have a new Intercontinental Champion? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, this is Mojo Rowling. New theme music, new attitude, it seems. Thanks to Christian, Captain Charisma. Looking to have some of that charisma ooze on down over. To Mojo Raleigh and try to help Mojo Raleigh get his career on track here. Can Christian do it? Can he say he helped Mojo Raleigh become new Intercontinental Champion here tonight? That remains to be seen. Christian has his dream with Randy Orton as well. It involves the World Heavyweight Championship. But that was in the past, and now we're looking towards the future. Can Mojo Raleigh become Intercontinental Champion right here, right now? He goes toe to toe with Randy Orton. Here we go. Randy Orton, the Intercontinental Champion. He's not planning on losing this title anytime soon. I'll tell you that much right now. He does not plan on losing to Mojo Raleigh tonight. But we've been shocked before. I don't think anybody expected Jinder Mahal to be the guy that dethrones Randy Orton. But he was. Let's see what happens with Randy Orton and Mojo Raleigh now. Here we go! Randy Orton getting this match started early, it seems. There's the bell, and here we go. Another neck breaker by Randy Orton on Mojo Raleigh. Are we going to see an RKO already? R RK no! Mojo Raleigh knocks Randy Orton out of the ring! Here we go! Oh, but Randy Orton... Oh, Randy definitely has more experience than Mojo Raleigh. Oh, what the hell? Randy Orton doesn't need to take his anger out on Christian here. Tell you right now though, Randy Orton sees everyone as a threat. It doesn't matter whether you're Mojo Rowley or John Cena. Randy Orton is looking at you as if you're his worst enemy. When there's a championship involved, Randy Orton he is focused. There's a reason why he's one of the greatest of all time. 
It's not just because of a fancy finishing maneuver. It's not just because he can hit it from out of nowhere. Head first into the corner. Oh, Red Room goes head first into that post again by Mojo Raleigh now. If Mojo Raleigh can avoid the RKO, he could win this match. We've seen Mark Henry able to avoid the RKO and Randy Orton wasn't able to hit it. And we had a new world heavyweight champion. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry, but Mojo Raleigh, he's no, Mo he's no Mark Henry. But can he beat Randy Orton right now? The hyperdrive. One, two, three. No. Mojo Raleigh almost had him though. He almost had him. Mojo Raleigh with claims that Randy Orton is not hyped. Right now, doesn't look like Randy Orton's too hyped though. So Mojo Raleigh is correct in that statement. Let's see. If Mojo Raleigh can keep the ball in his court, if he can keep the ball in his hands and try to make that touchdown right now in the form of winning the Intercontinental Championship. Mojo Raleigh is in control of this match. Oh, what a sick right hand by Mojo Raleigh. He's hyped. And Randy Orton's in trouble. Another hyper drive. Is that enough to put Randy Orton down and out, though? I don't think it is either. Mojo Raleigh's not going to end it after that. He's going to do some more. Oh. But Randy Orton counters it. He was going for the RKL, but Mojo Raleigh. Smart move there, rolling out of the ring and getting out of there. Oh, look at this. He's staying on Randy Orton, though. As soon as Randy Orton tries to go to him, he brings Randy Orton to himself. Oh, it looks like he was going for a power bomb on the outside here. Oh, look out now. Oh, Randy Orton going after Christian again. I'm not sure why though. Oh, DDT on Christian. And now Mojo Raleigh. RKO by Randy Orton, just like that. Now, what the hell? An RKO for Christian as well. sees Christian as a huge threat it seems right now sees Mojo Raleigh as a threat as well he's gonna make sure Mojo Raleigh is down and out it seems shades of Cowboy Bob Orton coming up now that superplex from the top rope or not Wait a minute, RKO from the top! Oh my god! That's it. There's no way Mojo's getting up from that. If he does though, <laughs> wow. Randy Orton made sure Mojo Raleigh went down. He made sure Mojo Raleigh didn't get back up. He made sure Christian didn't get involved either. Look at that. I am shocked that Randy Orton took out Christian and Mojo Raleigh there. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, up next, 
the Iconics take on Asuka and Kyrie Sane for the tag team titles. Don't go anywhere, you don't want to miss it. been pretty much a tag team since they first made a name for themselves and put themselves on the map in NXT. Now they're here in Fight Zone Wrestling looking to become tag team champions for the first time. Your inaugural champions were the Bella Twins, Brie Bella and Nikki. They had their titles taken away from them by the beautiful people Angelina Love and Velvet Sky, but Angelina Love turned her back on Velvet Sky. And the titles were vacated because of it. And then Asuka and Kyrie Sane would get a shot at the tag team titles, make the best of it, and win the titles. Iconics were that same match along with Asuka and Kyrie Sane came up short. Now tonight they're looking to become the champions here on Raw. And it could happen. They could dethrone the current champions, Asuka and Kairi Sane. Remember, FZW had women's tag team championships before the WWE did. Here comes the Empress of Tomorrow. Oscar, one of the greatest women athletes we've ever seen, step foot in the ring. She has a record that's better than Bill Goldberg's undefeated streak. Oscar, her first loss came at WrestleMania to Charlotte Flair. There's no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with taking a loss to Charlotte Flair. A lot of people, some of the greatest in the world, have taken a loss to show us, man. But, you gotta be thinking, if you're Oscar, you're gonna wanna get a defeat over Charlotte Flair in the future at some point. I don't think she's ever defeated Charlotte Flair. Her only win was in the TLC match that they had with Becky Lynch involved as well. Here comes Kyrie Sane. Both these ladies made a name for themselves in a wrestling company known as Stardom in Japan, an all-women's organization where they, made, they made a name for themselves there and now they've come to America. Former NXT champions and now currently the Fight Zone Wrestling Tag Team Champions in the women's division. They're looking unstoppable, to be honest. Is there another team that can take these two to the limit and take the tiles away from them? Maybe it's Billy Kay and Payne Royce. We're about to find out right now. This is a pretty big match happening here on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. But still to come in our main event, it was supposed to be Dolph Ziggler and Goldust from what I understand though. Dolph Ziggler has been replaced and Bobby Lashley has chosen an, a new opponent for Goldust. And with the Raw Jewel Manager Matt already out of commission here tonight, Vince McMahon has gone along with it. I don't know if Dolph Ziggler's going to be too happy about that. I don't know if that's a good idea. For Dolph Ziggler anyways. That's pretty interesting. But I guess that's what they're going with. Okay. 
Well, here we go with the tag team titles on the line. It's pretty nice how WCW's legacy is kind of being remembered here. I mean, those tag team titles similar to WCW's tag team titles. Charlotte Flair now carrying the big gold World Heavyweight Championship her father is so synonymous with. And then we got the United States Championship. Who will be crowned United States Champion at Backlash? And now the tag made to Billy Kay by Payne Royce. And Asuka goes straight after Billy Kay. Billy Kay getting back up to her feet here. Billy Kay and Payne Royce are mainly known for having big mouths and talking a lot. But there's no denying they are a wonderful, great team. It's because they are both best friends and damn near sisters. They know what the other's thinking before the other one thinks it. Or something like that. But Oscar and Kyrie saying the same could be said for them. So far right now, the opening mo moments of this match, Oscar has control over both Payne Royce and Billy Kay. Until now, when Payne Royce lands on her feet, beautifully done. Oscar doesn't care. Oscar taking out Payne Royce. I don't know. I don't know if the crowd liked that or not. I don't know. Sounds like New Jersey wasn't too happy with that. I'm not sure why though. Payne Royce with the belly to belly suplex. Uh oh, moves out of the way. Oh, nice move there. Anyways though, cause Billy Kay took advantage. And now the crowd I think is just booing the Iconics. Here at this point, I was saying with a wild right hand there. Kyrie saying in trouble. Tag made, and now it looks like Iconics are, are starting to get control of this match. Kyrie saying with an axe kick over the back of the head of Payne Royce. Is she going to go for the insane elbow this early, though? No, nope, thinks twice about it. I don't think she's in the right position as well. Wait a minute. What the hell? Ronda Rousey just dragged Oscar off the apron. What's going on here? What the hell is Ronda Rousey even doing here? Supposed to be having a tag team title match and Ronda Rousey's assaulting Oscar. What is going on? Oh my god, over the guardrail. Look at this, Asuka is trying to fight back here, but why is Ronda Rousey assaulting Asuka? She took her all the way into the crowd. Oh, be careful now. Ronda Rousey was trying to use that kendo stick. Oh! But now Oscar has the. Oh no, it gets taken away from her. Oh no, Ronda Rousey with a powerbomb and Oscar through a table. I don't understand what's going on here. Has Ronda Rousey lost her mind? Well, here we go. It's time for the main event. Gold Dust will not be taking on Dolph Ziggler, though. Bobby Lashley has chosen a new opponent, and who will it be?
Look at this though, wait a minute. Gold Dust is sporting his all elite wrestling colors here tonight. Is this a sign of what's to come? Is Gold Dust planning on winning the FCW World Heavyweight Championship? be a sign of gold dust saying he's gonna win the world championship he's gonna be the face of all elite wrestling he's gonna be taking on Cody Rhodes at double or nothing later this month ladies and gentlemen AEW just announced they're on TNT wrestling is back on T wrestling is back on TNT Goldust is going to be back on TNT. We haven't seen him on TNT since he was on Monday Nitro. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell? The Animal Batista! I thought he retired! He's with Bobby he Lashley and Leo Rush, though. Accompanied by Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the Animal Batista. The Animal Batista's back in fight zone wrestling. He's taking on Gold Dust tonight. This is definitely going to be a test for Gold Dust to see if he can take on the world champion, Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar, uh, excuse me, Bobby Lashley and Batista, <laughs> wrong guy, very similar in style, very powerful, they both also have done mixed martial arts, Dave Batista of course is undefeated in MMA, it's one and oh, <clears throat> and Bobby Lashley, of course he's been gone from WWE, doing mixed martial arts and now he's here to fight zone wrestling as the world champion he takes on gold dust and backlash I gotta say this is actually great for gold dust if he can get a win over Batista he has a chance against Bobby Lashley he definitely has a chance against Bobby Lashley but first, does he have a chance against Batista right now? Let's also not forget 2003, about 15 years ago, Batista and Randy Orton, they were the ones that threw gold dust into that electrical equipment that electrocuted gold dust and changed his life forever. And still to this day, even though he's conquered it, it still comes back and haunts him every now and then. Still causes gold dust a lot of problems. So this is gold dust, his chance, Dustin Rhodes' chance right now to get some revenge against Batista. Ooh, nice kick there by Gold Dust. He takes down the animal. Keep the big animal down, Gold Dust. I like this combination here. Hit him with a boot, hit him with an elbow. Axe handle smash there by Gold Dust. And Batista gets right back up though with a clothesline. Boom! Samoan drop by the animal Batista. And this is your main event of Monday Night Raw. The Animal Batista is back. Here on Fight Zone Wrestling. And Gold Dust representing All Elite Wrestling. Which will be on TNT later this year. Double or Nothing is this month. Check your local listings. Find out where you can find out where you can watch it online on pay-per-view everywhere. Goldust is slapping the taste out of Batista, but 
Doesn't look like it's doing much. Ooh, that one did a lot of damage. Okay. Goldust is turning Batista's face red right now. Oh my god, uppercut. And now Goldust has this match in his favor. Oh, but just like that, Batista turns things around. Close line, down goes Batista. And now Gold Dust. He's gonna go high risk. Uh-oh, watch it. Oh, Hurricane Rana by Gold Dust! Batista misses with the close line! Crossroads! Hooks the leg! Oh, but quick kick out from Batista. I think Batista's just getting angry right now here at this point. Not good for Gold Dust at all right now. Military press. Oh! Into a power slam. The power of Batista is so incredible. I remember watching WrestleMania 21 live when Batista became World Heavyweight Champion when he defeated Triple H. But for years, for years, I have been waiting to see Gold Dust as World Heavyweight Champion. And now it seems that that will be a reality if he can beat Bobby Lashley. But Bobby Lashley's been an unstoppable beast. He's been an unstoppable monster. Goldust, though, is stopping Batista, it seems like. Hooks the leg. Kick out by Batista. Oh, man, Batista's incredibly tough, too. We've seen what he can take. But slammed on tables and still stares and still came back fighting. Oh, the spear by Batista! One! Two! A kick out from Gold Dust! Batista thought that was gonna be the end of it, but Gold Dust, he's gonna he's a fighter. He's the son of a plumber. That's a son of a, a plumber. I mean, I mean, he's not the He's 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 Dusty Road son, okay? That I, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways. Bobby Lashley's telling Batista to put him away already. Batista might be looking for a Batista bomb right here, right now. The gold dust. He's not ready to go away just yet. Gold dust with the right hand. Oh no! Gold dust thrown out of the ring. And now Batista. Oh my god. Oh! Gorilla press slam on the outside. Leo Rush and Bobby Roo, uh Bobby Lashley, excuse me, what? Wait, Batista with a power. Look out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Batista just tossed Gold Dust. Almost tossed him. In the hands of Bobby Lashley. What the hell? Batista taking out Leo Rush now. I don't think I don't think Bobby Lashley's too happy with that. We might see Batista and Bobby Lashley go at it right now for the first time. We're at nine gold to Oh! Wait a minute. That's it. Oh, Batista just won by count out, but Lashley and Batista were going at it. They were going at it. What is going on here? What just happened there? 
Batista gets a victory over Goldust. That's unfortunate, but at the end right here, we saw Bobby Lashley and Batista going at behind the referee's here back. Here is your winner, the Animal Batista. What a powerbomb by Batista as well on Goldust. Almost damn near tossed him in the front row. Almost, I think he was trying to toss him towards Bobby Lashley though. Batista took out Leo Rush. And but Bobby Lashley was trying, I don't know what is going on. I, I don't think this is quite a friendship right now though. Batista's back. But is he back for the world championship? 